This week in the Missouri Senate, we review the first hearing held by the Missouri Senate Interim Committee on Education. Okay, let's go ahead and call this meeting to order. The Mr. panel Secretary, was formed earlier this year. This committee plans to spend the remainder of the year studying the issues and then making recommendations to the full Missouri Senate regarding transparency, accountability, and efficiency in the state's public education system. Senator Carla Esslinger of Osola is the panel's chair. You know, last session we completed some pretty substantial education agenda that included literacy, teacher pay, school transportation, and some charter funding equity. And I hope that through this interim committee on education, that we continue to enhance our education system to ensure the quality programs for all kids. Senator Lauren Arthur of Kansas City also serves on the committee. Part of this week's hearing focused on upcoming changes to the Missouri School Improvement Program. I'm going to oversimplify things here, but MSIP determines performance districts. The expenditures of performance districts reset the state adequacy target. So has the department contemplated or do you have a sense how the changes to MSIP will affect our education formula and state education funding? Higher salaries for Missouri's teachers are also included in the fiscal year 2023 operating budget. Senator Cindy O'Laughlin of Shelbina is vice chair of this panel. A lot of my schools wanted to implement like over two or three years, but they can't do that because once they have somebody at the bottom and they move them up and then the ones that are, you have a little pressure, they're not allowed to do that. So right off, we made a decision to have more money for teachers, but it's not in such a fashion that everybody can do it. Senator Doug Beck of St. Louis also serves on the committee. He says failing test scores can undo the state's efforts to improve education. And create a lot of rash decisions that be made, not only in this building, but with parents and folks across the state. And I think we need to really look at that. I know you understand about getting communicating and doing things out, but I'm serious. That can undo this whole thing. We've seen it happen before. We've watched four tests in five years. We've seen mm-hmm. things happen here, and it's not good for kids. The next hearing for the Missouri Senate Interim Committee on Education is expected to include public testimony. This is one of three groups expected to meet yet this year. The Missouri Senate Interim Committee on Illegal Immigration held its second meeting this week. The Missouri Senate Interim Committee on Firefighting Districts has not yet met. We will continue to follow these groups throughout the interim. Next up for lawmakers will be the annual veto session. Missouri Senators will return to the Capitol in mid-September for what is typically a relatively short day for them. This year, the governor vetoed four measures, as well as several line items in the budget for the current fiscal year. Veto session is set for September 14th. And remember, you can follow these and other issues facing the Missouri Senate by visiting our website, senate.mo.gov. Reporting from the state capitol, I'm Dean Morgan.